In this video today, we take you through the top 10 times when people made money in some of the very unusual ways. Come, let's take a look. Number 1. Snuggy Many people have millions of dollars in ideas, but people rarely act on them. And sometimes, the stupidest idea can also mean millions if the timing is right. One such example was an idea called Snuggy that turned out to be worth millions. Number 2. Beanie Babies Created by Ty Warner in 1993, Beanie Babies was a stuffed toy fad in the 90s. Warner's Ty Inc. reportedly earned $700 million a year and sold beanies for $5 each. By 1999, the company had sales of over $1 billion. Warner decided not to sell toys in national chains such as Toys R Us and Walmart, boosting the market in small, independent stores and causing a boom. In some stores, Ty Inc. has instructed one customer not to sell more than a certain amount. Beanies have begun to rise in the resale market, many at five-digit asking prices. Number 3. Million Dollar Homepage Alex too came up with the idea for the Million Dollar Homepage when he was a 21-year-old college student. He sold 1 million pixels in advertising space for $1 each. Profit? Well, as you can imagine. The Million Dollar Homepage was sold out in just four months after it was released in 2005. This all happened because Tu was interested in making money while attending the University of Nottingham, England. And after the site began to attract media attention and all advertising space was required, he dropped out and began his career as a serial entrepreneur. Number 4. Sell Jellyfish Jellyfish may not be cute pets, but there is a market and they're not cheap. In fact, the cheapest kit on jellyfishart.com costs $330. For the amount, customers get a jellyfish, a small aquarium, and enough food to last for three months. What other aquatic life can you sell? If you're thinking of selling your oysters, it's too late. Just like jellyfish, people also sell oysters as pets. Number 5. Slinky Created by chance by Richard James, Slinky is now in the Toy Hall of Fame with over 350 million sales and profits of $3 billion. James dropped the tension spring he was working on and saw it sway across the floor, and thus Slinky was born. But in reality, it didn't happen that fast. Over two years, James developed the toy length, experimented with different formulas, and found the perfect toy that went down the stairs that he had imagined in his head. His wife Betty continued to lead the Slinky business when he moved to Bolivia to join the cult. Betty died in 2009. Number 6. No Hassle Pets Advertising agency executive Gary Dahl was known for making jokes. After hearing his friend talk about the dangers of caring for a pet, he created Pet Rock in 1975 and put nearly $6 million in his pocket. He sold the rock as a no hassle pet, complete with a pet training manual and a cardboard box that mimics a pet carrier. The rock quickly became a hit and became one of the greatest trends in history. San Jose-based Dahl tried to recreate the success of Petrock and other ventures, but everything else eventually failed, including a book about the secret story behind the parody pet and other spoofing about fitness. Number 7. Koosball In the 1980s, Scott Stillinger invented the Koosball. Koosball is a rubber ball with colorful fibers all over it. Hasbro purchased the Koosball in 1997 for $100 million. Time Magazine has named it one of the greatest toys of all time. According to a 1995 Los Angeles Times article, Koosball was born out of the desire to put something between the weight of a foam ball and a beanbag. As Stillinger's company grew, so did the size of Koosballs. Even today, you can find more than a dozen types of Koosballs. And by 1995, the business was already on track. The original maker of toys Oddson said, millions and millions were sold for $5 each. Number 8. The Big Mouth Billy Bass the Big Mouth Billy Bass, a famous talking fish known for hanging in the garage and living room, was created by Jemmy Industries in 2000 and has continued to make millions. Revenues were never revealed, but some reports estimate that the best gag gifts in 10 years earned $100 million. While singing Don't Worry, Be Happy and Take Me to the River, it took creator Joe Perrottieri to properly adjust Billy Bass for two years. Number 9. Wacky Wall Walker In 1985, Ken Shirata became a millionaire with the Wacky Wall Walker, a slimy toy with eight arms that resembles an octopus. When he stuck to the wall, he seemed to be walking when gravity pulled it down. Millions have been sold. However, Shirata didn't come up with the idea of the toy itself. He bought the rights to the original Chinese toy sent by his mother for $100,000 and in 
and began selling them in the Washington, D.C. region. Sales were crawling until a Washington Post reporter came across his product and wrote about it. The topic from the article has launched one of the biggest marketing booms in history. Over 240 million were sold in just a few months, and Ken earned about $80 million. Number 10. Selling Breast Milk Online A woman named Veronica revealed in this 2013 video that she earns money by selling her breast milk online. She produces 50 to 65 ounces of breast milk per day, sells it for $1 per ounce, and sells about $2,000 worth in a six-month stretch. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit like and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. Until next time.